now. Now. Your sons connect to this house. I gave an instruction to this church. I told us to sow something. At the beginning of the year. For watch night. He's a wonderful member. You say you you he's a son. I'm committed. Didn't even try. Didn't even try. Didn't even attempt to oh, a son always does those things that please his father. I looked at my bill from flying from Jacksonville to Charlotte. My plane bill that the church don't pay. That I paid out of my pocket. I looked at it. I called the people. I was trying to figure out why they were so nice to me. I mean, I can call them at 3 in the morning. We'll have it ready for you. Ooh, these people love me. They, they even offered me some um, courtside seats at the Panthers games. I don't want no tickets. I want a discount. Say amen. <laughs> I want no tickets, give me a discount. I looked at my flight. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not flying com, uh, uh, private to be, to, to be cute and bougie and just say I fly private. This, 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 the, the airlines got rid of the flight, but the message had to be preached. My, my, my bill, just for this year, I show it to you, was two hundred and forty grand. Cash that I paid out of my pocket, not KCC. That's a seed that I sow into you because I believe in you. But you will go missing for three weeks, a month and a half. But what if I decided that I'm not going to preach? Not going to pray for you. Not going to intercede for you. Not going to come with a fresh word. Just going to come and give you leftovers. What if I treated you the way you treat me? But you tell me you love me. You, you, you honor me with your lips. It's a quiet church, Amy. But your heart. Far from it. You're playing. I'm, I got an assignment. I could tell you to do something. You play strings. So I won't be no shouting. You say I'm your leader. You say you connected. You say God sent you here. I know this is where I'm supposed to be. I love my pastor. I love my pastor. God, whatever you tell me to do. Whatever you want me to do. I do it. Until I say sit down. Pastor, what you want me to do in this season? Sit down. Just look at me. I give you an instruction. You always got an excuse to not obey. Because you are not ready to be. If you stay under prophetic ministry, the prophetic going to flow out of you. I don't even have to train you for that. You'll catch it. And train Elisha on how to be no prophet. You know how Elisha got it? By washing his hands. It's a quiet church now. Quiet church, ain't it? Now, I hear somebody in the spirit offended. I don't care. I hear somebody in the spirit mad. You know what that is? Heart being pricked. You know what kind of dog hollers? <laughs> throw a rock in a room full of dogs. One of them going, you throw that, you throw the rock. <laughs> See this word on a, this word on a pill. Look at Jesus. Do, do you know, do you know that Jesus, do you know that Jesus, do you know that Jesus submitted himself and was a son? He was obedient even unto the death of the cross Christ didn't do that the son did and because he did that 
now God have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. When I heard this word and God began to deal with me about this, he said, there's some things in you that I'm trying to develop. That's why you're here. You're not here because you're perfect. Look down your row and say, we all got problems. I got an assignment to y'all this year. By the, if, if you will submit yourself and humble yourself, by the, by the time this year is over,